If it still blows up, I'm gonna laugh. Oh wait, I don't think- <laughs> Never mind, I take it back. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are gonna be checking out Liberty Ships, and in particular, the John W. Brown in Mini Ships. And we're also joined by Railroad Preserver, who happens to be exploding over there. Well, as Jesse said, we are reviewing the Liberty ship John W. Brown. And the reason I'm here is because I can say with certainty that I've been aboard it. Why? Well, because number one, it's the only Liberty ship I've had a chance to see in person. And number two, well, I had wanted to see it ever since seeing a documentary about these ships when I was like seven or eight years old. Anyway, when I was there in Baltimore, I was apparently the only visitor on the ship. The volunteer crew was there keeping it up, but there was no one else actually touring the ship, which kind of upset me a little bit, because what these guys do is something that you really, you really don't see anymore. I have a major, major amount of respect for the guys on that ship in terms of the ones who are maintaining it and running it, because these guys are in their 70s and 80s. They need younger people who are interested in these ships to volunteer, because if you don't have anybody volunteering for it, it's not going to be around for much longer, you know? And it's not easy keeping a ship like this operational, much less, you know, maintained enough to stay afloat. Uh, Queen Mary being a good example. What are you doing, sir? You are in my lane. Don't worry about it. It's fine. All right. All right. All right. Captain Railroad Preserver is back. Well, that failed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You were just shaking very violently for a second there. Nothing personal. Interesting thing about these Liberty ships is they survived long after being built. Good example. Uh, I'm sure you heard of that one that was actually built, and I kid you not, four days? Let's see. I'm looking that up now because I forget its name. But there was a Liberty ship that was built in four days as a kind of publicity stunt. And what's interesting, it was built in 1942 and was scrapped in Baltimore, Maryland in 1963, which is ironic seeing as that is where John W. Brown is currently moored. And also, while I was visiting John W. Brown, I recorded most of the tour. I got about two hours of video footage on board the ship, so I think uh, Jesse said he'll be linking that in the top right corner, is that right? Yep, that is right, and you can check that all out. It's unedited, right? It's just completely yeah, one yeah, run through. Yeah, it says, it's more or less as I filmed it, and, um, I'll just say this, I surprised a lot of the volunteers on the ship with how much I knew. I mean, they were blown away with how much I knew. But anyway, interesting thing about the uh, John W. Brown when I was there, um, it was where it's currently moored in Baltimore is where NS Savannah was moored, the first nuclear powered merchant ship built by the United States. And what's interesting is John W. Brown was built in September of 1942. NS Savannah was built in 1952, so you've got 10 years between the two ships, 10 years in terms of overall design, overall construction techniques, and really just 10 years of advancement in terms of the ship's power plant. What's funny is when these ships were built in World War II, their power plant was already obsolete by about what, 20, 30 years? Because they used a reciprocating steam engine in uh, the 1940s used uh, steam turbines. Everyone knows about John W. Brown and Jeremiah O'Brien, but there's actually two others. I think uh, there's a Liberty ship in Greece that's a museum ship, and there's actually one in Alaska that's being used as a cannery. Well then, Rara, thank you for the information and also your own personal story of being on board the John W. Brown. Now, what are you doing? Well, I am trying to, uh oh, avoid a collision! Oh, yeah, nope, nope, I probably would have taken out your rudder. Actually, funny thing about the uh, John W. Brown. They actually used the ship in Greece as a kind of parts source. Why? Oh, because they just happened to casually have a uh, spare propeller down in one of the cargo holds. I kid you not, that's actually uh -oh. the thing. Uh-oh, here we go. There's a collision. And right the there. is currently going crazy, by the oh, way. Oh, yes, it is. Well, you know what I can do, Railroad? Here we go. Oh, stop. All stop. Emergency stop. I'm going down. I wonder right. what's going to happen next. Uh oh, yeah. the lights went out. What could this be? Yeah, uh oh. He's going full Richard Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen, and boom. Uh oh. There we go. Perfect. Yep. The ship explodes. That is really awesome. And look at the effects as well, as water uh, comes streaming out of where the ship oh, just look. went down. 
Oh, and did you notice it may or may not have done a V-break, which was actually a thing with some of these ships. By the way, can I just appreciate that they actually have marker lights that you would actually see indicating the shipping lanes? In terms of where it's safe, like green is the deep water, red's shallow as hell, and you've also got, you've got a rock just casually chilling there. I think that this is an iceberg. Well then, John W. Brown commits Titanic. Anyways. Maybe. Let's see. Oh boy, I gave him ideas, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on to your hats. Yep, here we go. Let's see what happens when the John W. Brown hits an iceberg. And... Nothing. Impact. Oh, wow. The iceberg actually moved. Oh, I'm sinking. I'm actually going down. Are you serious? Yeah, my lifeboats are going away. And the uh, SOS signal is going out. Be honest, did you hit the scuttle? Nope, I did not. This is if completely... It's still, if, it's still, if it still blows up, I'm going to laugh. Oh, wait, I don't think... <laughs> Never mind, I take it back. It did blow up. There goes John W. Brown again. Hello, oh, Railroad. How are we doing? Hello. Oh, I've fallen off, off the, the iceberg. Stratosphere. Here oh, we go. Stop. Whoa. By the way, <laughs> prepare um, to get yeeted into the stratosphere. Oh my god, the ship is going over the line. All right, don't worry, Railroad. I've got something that will, uh, well, it will defeat you. So, uh,. Here we go. Oh, yes. You're going to get the hospital ship and commit about a dozen war crimes all at once. Okay, Oh, then. not the hospital ship. The Titanic is back. I don't have the scuttle button. I can't I can't sink the ship. I have no scuttle. I am ripping holes into your hole. Oh, yes. It appears we have a problem. Well, well he got around. Well, there he goes, ladies and gentlemen, sinking the Titanic in 1942, I think, oh, how many years since it actually sunk? All right, the time-traveling Titanic is sinking. I need assistance <laughs> from all <laughs> vessels. No, 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 you just pulled a straight-up Doctor Who moment where they just have a space Titanic somewhere. It's totally fine. Yeah, and, I'm uh, going down. I may need some help. Don't worry. Unlike Carpathia that took four hours, I'll be here in four minutes. Uh-oh, this is going <laughs> to be really bad. Guess it. Jesse proceeds to do a DOS boot on Titanic. <laughs> if you detonate yourself right now, you will kill everyone in the lifeboats. <laughs> I can't even get the scuttle, remember? My ship is not structurally stable. Well, that yeah, pretty much just shows that. Did you just hit that iceberg? No, I missed, but I'm about to make sure I don't miss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, we need to go out with a bang anyways. Oh boy, here he goes. Yeah. And yeah, you've literally just destroyed the entire storm. So Railroad, how are you feeling about this? Oh, well, quite well. Come to the back, the propeller's still spinning. Really? That would, that would be accurate on some ships. I've seen that. Actually, I don't even know if the steam plant would still able to be... I don't... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, it blew up underwater. Well then. There she goes. Yeah, I think that's the boiler, seeing as the propeller stopped. Oh, look at that. Stopped. Yeah, the propeller stopped, and it's gone. All right, well, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye. Ooh.